Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I almost got run over by a car just now. I uh, don't want to get run over by another one. Okay, so it is definitely not warm enough to be dressed like this. I'm just wearing a little sporty, little Sharpa, Sharpa, Sharpa? I think it's a Sharpa sweater. Oh, I need to get to the sunlight. Hold on. God, it's fucking brick. All right, definitely not just warm enough. Other people are out here in hats or hoods, gloves, coats, but I am going to the gym and I lost my lock. And locks be expensive nowadays. So I'm going there with just my sweater and my bag so that I don't have to worry about putting shit in a locker. I don't have a hood, I don't have a hat. I don't have any gloves. My mom, when you, she watches this, will probably be very proud. <laughs> but it's all right, it's gonna be a good day. Let's go. Oh yeah, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. You guys, you know how I went to the gym without a freaking jacket because I didn't have a lock? Well, look what my boyfriend had on his freaking desk. A freaking lock, guys. I thought we lost it, but no, he was just hoarding it. It's my lock. Ugh, it's not your lock. So, mini story time. Currently walking to my car and I like, I'm about to cross the street and the cars are coming. So I'm like, all right, let me just wait. So I'm kind of standing there trying to watch a YouTube video on my phone because I do that. And I feel somebody's like watching me. So I turn around and there's a guy literally standing like two like steps back from me. And he's just staring me down, like literally arms crossed, staring at me. And I'm like, hello. And he's like, are you going for a jog? And I'm like, no, I'm going to my car. And he's like, oh, well, you have a nice day, beautiful. And I'm like, thanks. But why? Like, young, I appreciate the compliment, but like young men of the world. No, thank you. I just arrived here in the Lower East Side, which is where my mom grew up, and I'm picking up some clothes from the tailor because you know the Dominican tailors do it best. <laughs> it's so weird how trendy the Lower East Side is now. Like seeing all these like hipster looking people in this area and all these like really cool restaurants and bars and stuff like i've definitely come to party in this area at night but as i grew up i would come to this area all the time to visit my grandma who lived in like the projects so it wasn't really a place that you wanted to come to like chill and now all these people live here and it's like you got some luxury homes and some nice markets and stuff and i'm like what is this this is weird. So in this video, I want to mention some of the most important social supports you can have in medical school because social support is the number one thing that you need and it's going to continue to be the number one thing that you need throughout your entire medical school education and prior to medical school and after medical school. So one of the first things I'm going to mention is having your friends in medical school who become your tutors, your unofficial tutors. You guys can do it back and forth. So basically, 
you know, maybe there's a concept that you didn't 100% understand and your friend did and then they teach it to you or they just help clarify things and you do vice versa. That's one major way that you and your friends can have each other's backs and make sure that everybody succeeds and everybody stays along the same path. Your friends as tutors is a major social support in medical school. Good morning, friends. Today is March 1st, which is fucking insane because match week is in two weeks. So with that being said, match week this year is also preparation for internship week. And I have a ton of work that I have to do in preparation for that. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be working on this morning. So basically here, I'm just looking at a patient case. <clears throat> We have to read the history of present illness that talks about why the patient came in today and asks him um, pertinent positives and pertinent negatives related to his issue. It's medications list, hydrochlorothiazide, propranolol, lovastatin. Hydrochlorothiazide is a thiazide diuretic, propranolol is a beta blocker for his heart, and lovastatin is a statin drug which helps against hypercholesterolemia, so it decreases cholesterol. And then we go into his vital signs. His vital signs here look pretty good to me. His diastolic blood pressure is a little bit high. We like it to be 80 or below, but everything else appears normal. And then we look at the physical exam. And basically all I'm supposed to do is find what the problems are from everything that I'm getting from this patient and then see what I can do to help improve his time in the clinic. I'm super excited. I'm gonna go see some of my friends. I haven't seen them in forever. I'm so hyped. I hope this is gonna be the last time we see each other before we find out where we matched. How crazy is that? Love it. Ah, I love it. <laughs> So now I'm back from hanging out with my friends from medical school. It was so great to see them. We don't see each other as much anymore because of our rotations. Some of us are going to different specialties. So it was really nice to reconnect with some of them and still some of them were missing, but it was really an amazing time. And so that brings me to the second reason why it's so important to have social supports in medical school. It's really important when you're in medical school to have friends that are going through the same thing that you're going through. So you have the opportunity to vent about your experiences, to celebrate what's going on in your life with people who understand why it's so monumental and why it's so big of a deal. Um, you get to talk about your fears with people who actually get it and who won't like minimize what you're feeling or just can't really connect to what you're thinking. So definitely making friends within your medical school, friends within your year is very important so that you have that support to lean on with the people that are going through the same thing as you. <clears throat> Hello peeps, happy hump day. So today I'm going into the city again for a class <clears throat> in another museum. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm super excited going to Lincoln Center which is where I used to go to high school so I'm gonna go back see my old haunts let's do it <laughs>
a.m. for my class. And it brings me to my third reason why it's important to have um, social supports in medical school. So this reason is about family. When I was in the beginning or the throng of the first couple of years of medical school, my family was really, really accommodating to me and my schedule because I had to study all the time. They would ask me, okay, when are you gonna be done studying? When can we have dinner together? Can we go out to have breakfast together? Just to spend little moments with me because the rest of my days were constantly spent studying. So that was super appreciated. They would ask me, oh, are you gonna be available to come to this family gathering or not? And they wouldn't get mad at me if I couldn't make it because I had to study. And they would always make sure that I ate when I forgot to feed myself. So family is definitely a big component of support when you're in medical school. Hey guys, happy Thursday. So as you saw, I had class this morning. Now I'm going to the gym. Let me show you what I'm about, young black boy from the villa. Get my city clout. Uh. Yeah. You know singing and rapping till your bra show you passing as a young and they was laughing now they in the street. Bumping my tunes and singing my songs to me. I'm anything and everything your girl wants you to be. Ooh, pulling up for three. Okay, so I just got back from the gym and I'm like really exhausted. But now let's talk about another very significant social support that you can have in medical school and that's going to be your friends that are not in medical school so <laughs> what? so let's talk about another social support that another important social support in medical school <laughs> don't laugh another <sighs> i need you to be quiet thank you another important social support in medical school and that's going to be your friends that you have outside of medical school so they're the ones that are going to hype you up the most because they just support you like to the max they don't know what you're going through they can't identify but they just believe in you and they help bolster your confidence whenever you have a dip and how you feel about yourself and then you have worries about if you're going to be successful they're the ones that always have your back and even more than that, they don't really understand how medicine works necessarily. So their take on your problems is very different and oftentimes very like cut and dry. Like, just do this, just do that. And it may not necessarily work that way, but sometimes when you get that perspective, it really does help you. Hey guys, so I just wanted to wrap up the video here. I hope that you guys liked it. Those are just some of the reasons why social support is so important in medical school. And I hope you had a great time with me on this week in the life of a medical student. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.